Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Lisa and this is Brunette Wig Place. I am so glad that you are here today. Before I get started on this wig review, I just wanna remind you to subscribe, hit that bell, and then you will get a notification every time I post a new wig related video. And also give this video a like. So today I am going to be showing you this very cute style. This is Dance by Ellen Villa and the color on this one is Mocha Rooted. Let's get started on this review of Dance by Ellen Villa in Mocha Rooted. She is such a cute style. I do want to mention before I forget that I did purchase this wig with my own funds from Wig Studio One. So Dance is just a really cute little texturized, short, wavy bob. She's got very shattered waves. Just, I love her. I think she just looks so natural. She looks like... You just, you know, you have some natural curl to your hair and you just kind of, you know, let it dry and air dry and um, just, you know, gave it a little shake and you're ready to go. And I just think she's so cute. It was really funny because when I first got her, I didn't feel that way. I first put her on and I was like, oh, this wig looks kind of messy. So I want to tell you that because I don't want you to think that that's a bad thing. Once I put her on and I got the zigzag part out and I played around with her a little bit, I was like, oh, I love this kind of messy, natural thing she's got going. And I think she is so cute. And you know, you can volumize her a little more if that's your thing, or you can just kind of smooth her down and not have her be so, you know, have so much volume. I, of course, like to smooth her down, but I don't mind if she's, you know, a little bit you know, I, I just kind of let her do what she wants to do. But these are very, like I said, it's just a very loose wave. It's like a beachy wave that's just short, you know? And um, it's just super, super cute. I love her texture. The fibers are very soft. She is fitting my petite head very, very nicely. So, which that's something I love about Ellen Vela. So really, really cute. So let me do a turn and we'll look at her from all sides and then I'll tell you all about her measurements and all that stuff. So she's cute. So this is my right side. Here's the back. My left. And then back to the front. So she, like I said, I just think she's adorable. Really, really cute. So she has a full lace front, which is nice. Oh, I think my wig cap's showing a little bit. My wig cap's right up to the edge of it, so. But there's her lace front. I think it looks really good. This color Mocha Rooted is a great brunette. It's, um, the knots aren't too, you know, dark or anything like that. So really, really pretty. And then she's got good coverage on the ear tabs. Even though she's petite, I do have this little space here that I get with, you know, true petite wigs, which I don't mind those at all because that's perfect for my glasses and things like that. They, my glasses just go on and I'll show you that in a bit you know, really easily, so. But I have good, you know, coverage around, um, you know, with the ear tabs and everything. I, I, it's the same kind of coverage. Sorry, y'all, I can't tell if that's just showing through the lace on the camera. Um, you know, the same coverage that I get with an average size cap, actually, which I'm, so I'm really, really happy with that. The only difference is, like I said, I do have this space that's about the size of my finger here. But again, no big deal. Now, when I do wear her, because I like to wear my wig cap as close up to the edge, you know, as possible, I will put a piece of tape there. I wore her the other day and that's what I did. I just do that. I just do it with all my wigs now because I don't want them moving around. I don't want to have to worry about them. So I just go ahead and put a piece of tape there and I'm done. So, but really cute. And I'll show you the part. Part looks really good too. So I'm just really happy with her. She's super cute. So she's got a lot of little layers in her. Um, as far as her measurement, she is seven inches here in the front. She has a nine inch layer from the crown. She has five inch sides and her nape back here, they say is 2.5 inches, but I guess it is if you pull the hair all the way down on the nape. But man, it, it's, it's a pretty short nape. So, but you know, just long enough. It's like I said, it's, it's a short bob, short wavy bob. So really, really cute. So, and then her weight, oh, I didn't even write down her weight. She weighs nothing. <laughs> I mean, she's like super lightweight on my head. So really, really cute. Okay, I will pop her off and we can look at her interior cap construction. Let's look at the inside of her cap. So 
As you can see, she's got that extended lace front, which is really nice. I like that when they extend it down onto the ear tab. She's not really one that you would pull back. You can put her behind the ears, which I'll show you in a bit. But, um, you know, I just like it when they extend that lace front down like that. And then she's got the soft ear tabs, really comfortable. Her part goes all the way back to the crown, which is another thing I really like. You get a very natural appearance of scalp, you know, going all the way back, just like your natural part would do on your hair. So she has some closed wefting right here. I'm not finding a lot of permatees. We'll take a close look. I'll flip her back inside out and we'll take a close look at that. But I'm, you know, it doesn't feel like she has a bunch of permatees in her or anything. Open wefted, extended nape, Velcro adjusters. So very nice. Let me flip her back. We can look at the outside here. So isn't this color gorgeous? I can't wait to tell you about the color. It's so pretty. So you can see that you have the appearance of scalp. Look at that. All the way back to here, like to, a nat to your natural crown. I love that. Great, great feature for her. You can see her cute wave pattern. So pretty. So here's that lace front. Okay, let's go on the search for permatease. So that closed lace is here. Um, all I'm seeing is a real subtle tease. You probably can't even see it on camera. Right at the rooting, right where the hair attaches to the cap, but it is not bad at all. So, but I wanted, I always like to tell you about that little tiny bit of tease that's right there. Maybe you can see it right here. Because when you put your fingers in the wig, you're gonna feel that tease. And I don't want you to think, you know, oh, well, she said on the video that there was no permatease and I feel permatease, you know, or anything like that. So you are, you may feel it right at the wefting, like I can feel it, but it's not big poofy. So, so I'm trying to get that point across. I hope that makes sense. So she's really cute. All right, we'll talk about her color in just a minute. Okay, got her back on, got her adjusted and everything. So let's look at this color. This is Mocha Rooted. And I have reviewed Mocha Rooted before. I reviewed it on my United wig, but I think that was probably in 2019 when I first started my channel, because that was one of my early Ellen Villa wigs that I tried. So really, really pretty color. So they describe it as medium brown, light brown, and light auburn blend with dark roots. The rooting on this one is really, really subtle, but that makes it very, very natural, which I really like. So I'm very happy with the rooting. You know, you can see the rooting all throughout the wig, but again, it's not so dark that it makes the knots dark or anything like that. So really, really pretty. So cute. She's just adorable. I think she's so cute. I love her. You can just like scrunch her and play with her and she's fun, so. Super cute. Okay, let's take Mocha Rooted outside and we will look at it in the natural light. Okay, so I'll show her to you in, under my uh, patio cover. And it's a little breezy, so the wind chime is singing in the background. It's so pretty. So you can see those highlights. So cute. Here's her lace front, mono part. Super cute. Okay, and we will walk out into the sun. Okay, and then her color really, really comes alive, really pretty. And you can kind of see her move in the breeze, which is nice too. So that color is so pretty out there in the natural light, isn't it? I love how it picks up the kind of auburny highlight that it has in it. It doesn't say, it says it's a blend, but I feel like that auburn definitely shows up as a bit of a highlight, which is really pretty. It still looks very natural, you know, not chunky or anything like that. So really, really cute. Okay, so let's talk about styling with her. Like I said earlier, you can tuck her behind the ears. So I will show you glasses on her. Super easy. Do you see what I'm talking about with that space? Now, you not all of you will have that space. If you have a really small head, you won't so much have that space there, but on my head, it works out really nicely. The glasses are just, they don't get in the way at all. So then I can put them up on my head. No problem. Did I pull? No, I didn't. <laughs> I 
can't, it's so hard to tell on camera sometimes if I've pulled my wig back or not. So anyway, but glasses work really, really well. You could also just um, put them, you know, right in your in the wig. If the wig's not, you know, big and poofy or anything like that. So it works really well with glasses. Okay, so styling wise, put it back behind my ears. So you can use a headband and she looks super cute with the headband. Fluff her up back behind it. Play with the layers. Super cute. Or I also, I really like the headband better. Just stuck in her. It looks super cute. I took some pictures and posted them on my Instagram of her with a headband. It was a purple one, but I use this one for the reviews because it's just easier to see. So, but how cute is that? So cute. She's just adorable. And then of course you've got this beautiful lace front. You can use, you know, your cute clips and just pull the front back if you want to. Pull it straight back if you want to. She's got such a great lace front on her. Or you can go full, you know, bring up a bunch of the hair. Put a bump up there, you know, with a claw clip. Straighten her out a little bit. She might be sticking up a little bit on camera, but she looks cute like that. And you can really see that lace front. Super cute. And then you got these little, you know, pieces that hang down. You could even pull down a few little like baby hair kind of, you know, that would look cute. Cause she's not so long that she's gonna be in your eyes and stuff like that, so super cute. And then of course you're just, you can use your tiny claw clips, you know, and put that in there too and just pull the pull pieces back, pull the front back, however you wanna do it. So she just looks really, really cute. She's fun to style. I think she would also be cute with some, you know, texturizing spray or something like that and scrunched up with that. I just, I'm not real big on putting products on my wigs personally, but I have seen people do that. So if that's your thing, like the, you know, maybe that sea salt spray or um, one of the texturizing sprays or texturizing balms, you know, would look cute with her too. Cause she has tons and tons of texture and spunk. She is super, super cute. So I thank you so much for watching today. And until next time, don't forget, you are absolutely beautiful. Bye.